In this section, we're going to be considering minimum spanning trees. Now, we introduced minimum spanning trees in the last section. Um, so, essentially, you've got a tree, which is a connected graph. So, we want the points to be connected, um, but with the least number of edges. Okay? So, if you've got, in this case, if you've got four nodes, or four vertices, then you will have three edges or arcs in your tree. Okay? Because you need at least three in order to connect them all together. Now, in a tree, you cannot have a cycle. So this network has a cycle because you can go around like that. So essentially, it is a path that you can take from where you start and then rounding it back to where you started. Okay, we can't have that. So we want no cycles. And as we work through the algorithms in this section, that's what we need to look out for. Now, because we want the minimum spanning tree, we want the one that is of least weight. Okay, so the one that is of least weight, and in this case, it's quite obvious. Okay, so this one you can be done can be done by inspection. So why would I pick these fives when I can just connect them using these ones? So my minimum spanning tree total length will be three in this case. So the minimum spanning tree is made up of those three edges. And if I was ha having to draw a minimum spanning tree, I would then have to draw it separately, drawing those three edges together. OK? So. Obviously, not all examples are going to be that straightforward. And so we need an algorithm that will enable us to do that. And there are two algorithms that we are going to be using in this section. The first is Kruskal's algorithm, and the second is Prim's algorithm. And they work in slightly different ways. Both of them, however, are examples of what we refer to as greedy algorithms. Now, you might have kind of an idea of what that might mean, but a greedy algorithm essentially um, does everything in the moment and has no consideration of what might come later. Okay, so it quickly kind of goes, right, that's the easiest one, that's the quickest one, I'll have that, um, and then gets all the way to the end and goes, oh no, now we need to connect this point to this point, and I've got to do it in the longest possible way. OK, so it doesn't take account of what might happen later. It doesn't strategize. OK, there's no strategy involved. However, although I say that with these two algorithms, with Kruskal's and Prim's algorithm, they both give you the optimal solution. So it's not that they give you the, the um, one that is good. They always give you the best one, OK? So they always give you an optimal solution in both of those cases, in both algorithms, OK? So that's good. It can both be both greedy and optimal, just so you're aware of that. So we're going to start off with Kruskal's algorithm, and then we're going to move on to Prim's algorithm.